What's up guys? Today I have something very special. I have with me today something I found at Target, which I've been waiting for and waiting for and waiting for, and finally they came. They were priced at $5.99 each, and they are from Lionel. Winter Circle's back, except they took the NASCAR Authentics name from Spin Master. Right, yes, this is Winter Circle's return. What's Spin Master's name? Uh, as you can see, it does say Lionel right down there. So if there's any question, yes, Spin Master is finally out. And you know what? I enjoyed their cheap die casts, but I did not enjoy the poor distribution or and the poor driver choices that they constantly made. Oh, we need to have Junior in every set. Why? I I, I don't get it. But whatever. It is what it is. This is a lot of different packaging than than uh, Spin Masters releases too. They no longer have boxes. They have these, which are um, magnets. They have this, which is the hoods returning, which I'm very happy about. Or they have uh, just a trading card with the race versions. Um, and if you're wondering why my uh, why I'm recording here, it's because I moved my usual recording spot back to the basement. Um, so that sucks, but whatever, I will find a permanent one soon, this is only temporary, but yes, we have Austin Dillon's, um, 2015 Darlington car, take a look at the other cars in the set here, we have Dillon, Tony Stewart Darlington, Dale Jr. Dushine, which we bought, Eric Almirola's Darlington, Dale Jr.'s Talladega race version, and Jeff Gordon's final start, now this is not, this is not an error, this was the original concept art for it. This was the final product, his Homestead car. So he did not race this one. Oh well, yeah, he did, but it just has a different quarter panel. Yes, yes, that's why they changed it, because they thought that was a shitty way to go out. <sighs> but anyway, that was in French and Spanish writing as well, plus all this um, nice little uh, legalese here. Maybe if we look, we could see what else will be coming out. But yes, I'm almost afraid to take it out of the packaging. But I guess I will right now if my camera stays up, which it doesn't look like it wants to. It's not going to. So we'll just take it out right now. Oh, God, I can't tell you the last time I took a Winter Circle car out of the packaging. It's probably around 2010, the last year they had it. So yeah, like I said... It's a magnet. That's all this is. It's a magnet. It says Darlington Raceway 3 Austin Dillon. And it comes with this thing. Yeah, there's that. This car was uh, a DNP, which is uh, die casties for uh, do not produce. Did not make m multiple order quantities or mock. So if you hear it did not make mock... It did not make the multiple order quantities. However, they did produce this for the NASCAR Authentics line. So you will only be able to get it in 164. You cannot get it in 124 unless you get a custom. I think that's awesome. If they continue to do this, maybe, just maybe, we'll get the Kyle Larson Mellow Yellow Darlington. I hope to God we do. But if we, even if we don't, that's fine. We'll just get customs made. Right, so I wasn't a big fan of this paint scheme, mainly because of the way it was drawn out. Uh, look at the hood here. E15, 15% ethanol. Right, they, they should have just put the E bigger up here and then made E15 small down there, but that's just my personal preference. This is based off of Richard Childress's 1974. Five paint scheme, I'm probably wrong on that. Spin Master did make this car um, into die cast form. If you remember, it was 24, summer of 2014 when it came out. Uh, I do have it somewhere um, somewhere in my cabinet, but I'm not going to go look for it because I'm just that lazy. <sighs> so on the back, it says American Ethanol. It says American Ethanol twice there. American Ethanol there has the old Bass Pro Shops and Cheerios logo. The Dow logo has not changed. So there's that. I'm just happy that this car was made. This was the only car I really wanted 
from the the new um, NASCAR Authentics line, but after seeing the rest of the set, I may get Stewart later, but for now, we'll just stick with these three. Mm. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. You could comment, like, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you later.